Department's strawweight matchup between Felice Herring and Randa Quiet Storm Marcos. Strawweight contender, she is set for this title fight here tonight. Certainly deserves this opportunity, but confidence has never been an issue. She believes for a while she has been the best 115 or on the roster, and tonight she can leave as the champion, and she is looking to do just that here in a matter of moments. Excited to see how this one plays out. Jason Murray, yeah, they are the undisputed UFC strawweight champion, and she's got the confidence that belies the champion. As you see her make this walk here tonight, she won the belt with flying colors, defended it with style points, and that's the same goal here tonight. She really is a fighter that maintains a calm demeanor, takes it fight by fight. She has aspirations to be the greatest of all time. She is well on her way. Tale of the tape for this strawweight championship fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with similar height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 10 wins, 9 losses, and 1 draw. She stands 5 feet 4 inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Introducing the challenger, Randa Quiet Storm Marcos. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 14 wins, 8 losses. She stands 5 feet 5 inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Crystal Lake, Illinois, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC strawweight champion of the world. UFC belt online, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Talented. They train so hard. They come from great camp. This is a very even matchup. Big punch to the clinch. Oh, she blocks the punch. 
Well, clearly she wanted to get this fight to the ground to try to fatigue the striker early. Mission accomplished so far. Mission accomplished. Even her team couldn't have imagined that it would work so early in the fight. Great time on that takedown. I'm not sure her striking has ever looked better, DC, finding the range with relative ease here tonight. She's doing a great job of timing everything. She is seeing everything out there. Somehow stays in the fight. All right, full guard now, DC, and just because she has the top position does not mean she is not in imminent danger. Oh, she's in danger at all moments whenever she's in the full guard because they have so many different submission attempts that they can throw up at you. So she needs to pass. By passing the half guard, already eliminates a vast majority of those submissions. Move the half guard, then continue to try to advance to either get off great ground and pound or just positional advantages in the ground. Oh, and she's back up again. Nice job to post the hand and get back to her feet. In fight numbers for you now, 29 total strikes have landed tonight for Felice Herrick. Marcos's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Well, we told you on the time, this might just be a matter of time. Not tapping out tonight. In full guard now, DC, and I know when you're in this position, you're looking to pass the half guard pretty quick. Oh, absolutely, trying to get the half guard so I can start to get up ground and pound. This is exactly what she needs to do. Not only does it get you to a position to get off ground and pound, it also takes a lot of the danger away right. from your opponent off of their back. Half guard is not nearly as dangerous as full guard, so get the half, land some ground and pound, get posture, and then continue to dominate on the ground. She's back up again. Just out of range with that left hook. Big knee. Oh! All right, so the fighters are in the clinch again, DC. I All right, so she goes for the double leg takedown here, DC, and she is able to secure it. Beautifully done there. Beautifully done. Great timing, great angle on the finish. Great job getting to her best position. Let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like punching technique, that round was about as good as it gets. Yeah, it looks like a boxing fight. She does a great job of using her hands to set everything up. But she's so fast and she's so sharp with those punches. It allowed her to really control that round. Ready? Ready? Fight. All right, here we go with round two. Oh, combination lands for her there. It's hard to recall a past fight of hers in which her striking has looked this fluid. She's sharp as a tack. Sharp as a tack. Everything is landing. She's doing a great job. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. Head kick. Great vision, great defensive instincts by her there as she continues to block the majority of these shots coming her way. Her hands are always where they're supposed to be. Just a slip there. Marcos gets caught with that punch. Well, she's landed some good shots, but kind of point fight. Marcos gets the takedown there. Fighters back to their feet here. If your opponent has you in the clinch. Whoa! Knee to the body. Sue's hurt. Turn him up. Go get him. Gets up again here, but hurting. Able to check the high kick. Nice stick with the right hand. Marcos gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Again, back into this position. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to... Oh! Oh! What a fight! Oh! She is such a diverse striker. 
striker. That dad big strike landed, and it looks like she's gonna finish this fight. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Back to the feet. Right hand punch from McClinton. Oh, the right hand is there for DC. For my money, she's really timing her shots. Another big takedown. Oh, beautiful throw by her there to get her opponent to the ground. Well, back to her feet here, but man, nice is she able to get the takedown there. And I know her opponent felt like she put in all the right work, but sometimes working on a guillotine. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Now she's in trouble. Brilliant submission defense there. All right, she's right into side control right now, and a lot of fighters would prefer the half guard, but she doesn't. Deep breathing. You ready? You ready? Here we go, third round of this chip. She goes high, and she did not miss there. This could be the end. I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head shot. effectively defending herself and the opponent was doing some real damage it became a dangerous situation i think it's the right call by the official and she will live to fight another day all right we take a look back at some of the pictures from this one and she had it all going on tonight but certainly her boxing was on point her boxing always is what allows her to dictate the pace of fights finally she landed the strike that ended the night of her opponent decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 34 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout.